hi if you're new to my channel please click the red subscribe button and the notification bell thank you for coming now let us talk about distances along great circles in the previous videos we talked about finding angular distance between two positions which was finding the angle between these two positions we got that by either adding the two angles in between the two positions or by finding the differences in the angle okay so the distances along any of the longitude and distances along the equator only among the latitude are called distances along great circles the formula used in finding this distance is the same as length of arc and it is theta over 360 times 2 pi r capital r which is the radius of the earth and is often given as 6000 400 kilometer which is to two significant figure also the circumference of the earth 2 pi r the capital r is usually given as 40000 kilometer this is correct to three significant figure either of these values may be used in questions given unless you are told otherwise so in the upcoming videos we shall see problems relating to these distances along great circles so come along now let us take a look at this example the positions of Libreville Gabon and Kampala Uganda to the nearest degree are 0 degree north 9 degree east and 0 degree north 32 degree east respectively calculate the distance apart along the equator first we should notice that the values given from the values given that the latitude zero degree north is the equator all right so let us quickly sketch the diagram as usual you draw the shape is spherical in nature then the polar axis the north and the south then as usual you draw the equator you can go with the dotted line on the back then you can also draw a line joining at the middle there okay then the greenwich meridian and label g then we go to the values again libreville is at nine degree east so on the equator you can see nine degree east we label l then for kampala the value at 32 degree east on the equator still on the same equator so we we'll draw the radius the points then label it k so that is the diagram then the cross section through the equator we draw another one all this doesn't have to be a perfect circle okay with the center o then the greenwich meridian g then from the greenwich meridian it moves nine degree to libreville 
of 9 degrees then 32 degrees from the Greenwich Meridian also 32 degrees east that is the position of Kampala okay so now the arc LK is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r that is the radius of the earth the angle lk it's subtracted from the angle gok i mean the angle lok subtracted from the angle gok because you can see from year to year is 32 so we have to subtract 9 degrees from that so 32 minus 9 degrees will give us theta and that is 23 so we have 23 over 360 times 2 times pi times 6400 which is the radius of the earth over 360 okay so the value of pi is given as 22 over 7 so we have equals to 23 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 so by the time we punch all these numbers we do the calculation with the calculator we are going to have 2568 kilometers and being rounded off to two significant figure we have 2600 kilometers all right so that is the shortest distance between the two towns because the given data are correct to two significant figure it is appropriate to round off the answer to two significant figure. Notice that the answer assumes that the shortest distance between Libreville and Kampala is required. Now let us take a look at this question. Calculate the shortest distance between two towns. Both lie on longitude 26.9 degree east. Their latitudes are 31.6 degree north and 24.8 degrees south, respectively. So first, you sketch the diagram, draw the spare first, then the polar axis, labeled north and south, then you draw the equator then with the straight line cutting across the center of the circle okay so now we're given in the question that the two towns lie on the same longitude 26.9 so we draw the longitude from the north pole to the south pole that is the longitude label 26.9 degree east Okay, then the first town is at 31.6 degree north, so it's going to go up. Okay, so at this position, we assume, always assume when it comes to the sketching, it's just a sketch, it's a rough sketch, then you draw it to the center of the circle. O. Okay, then the second town, 24.8 degrees south so it will be towards the south pole so let's assume this is the position then you take it to the center of the circle O so the first town let's have it at X then the second town around the south pole as Y so we can then go ahead to quickly draw the cross section this is the cross section okay draw the circle then you can draw a straight line the north and the south pole line okay 
Then the equator, remember the equator 2 is at the center, so you can have that drawn to OK. Then you can label it as E, equator, note that. The first term moves from the equator to the north, 31.6 degrees. The second term from the equator to the south, 24.8 degrees. Okay, so now we are to calculate the shortest distance, which will be the arc x, y. So the length of arc x, y is equal to the degrees. We have to add these two degrees together. That is 31.6 plus 24.8 okay over 360 times 2 pi r the radius of the earth so now we have that's 1.6 plus 248 we gave us 56.4 over 360 times 40,000 kilometer so if we were to use the calculator use a calculator to get that so we approximately, since note that the given values are, are three correct to three significant figures, so the answer should be our three significant figures. So the answer is 6,270 kilometers to three significant figures. Another example on distances along the great circle. Two ships on the equator are on longitude 45 degrees west and 45 degrees east respectively. How far are they apart along the equator? Correct to two significant figures. Take the radius of Earth as 6,400 kilometer and pi as 22 over 7. So as usual, you draw or you sketch the diagram. First draw the spare, then the north pole. Draw the polar axis. Then draw the equator. Then the dotted line sometimes is dotted sometimes you could just draw it straight doesn't it could be solid line no problem then go to the values we were told that both are on the equator okay so that's good then the longitude for the fourth ship is for five degrees west so we draw the longitude from the North Pole down to the South. Okay, so you can label that for the five degrees west. Okay, then for the second ship is for the five degrees east. Can as well draw that from the North Pole curve down to the South. Then you have that label as well for the five degrees east. So at the point at which both meet the equator. This is the first ship, we label that as A. Then the point of the second ship, we label that as B, right? Good, the center O, okay? So now, we can quickly draw the cross section. If it is a Tory question, it is always best for to draw the cross section, okay? It can also show you on how to get the right degree. Okay, so now the cross section, we quickly draw that. This is the equator, this is the center O, then the Greenwich Meridian. Okay, that is where the longitude takes off from. So the first ship, 45 degrees west. Then you draw the line, the point A, that is where it meets. The second ship, 45 degrees east. Then you draw 
that is the point B all right so now the arc AB that is the distance we are to calculate okay so the arc AB is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi the capital R we're dealing with a great circle the radius of the the great circle okay so theta if you go back to the cross section the angle here is 45 plus 45 so theta is 90 okay over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 okay which is equal to by the time we do some calculations we should arrive with a calculator okay we should arrive at 10057 dot one four remember we were told to run off to two significant figures okay so this is approximately ten thousand kilometer to two significant figures